Frazier just uncorks one. Chase Frazier in his PLL debut. Atlas kind of dodged one there. Dane Smith, the feed inside and the finish by Chase Frazier. Good look by Dane Smith as he found a streaking Frazier as he scores to open what is just his second ever PLL game. Tough matchup here. Smith goes 6-3, Frazier also goes 6-3. Those are some big boys. And Smith is just such a tough matchup. He can generate his own shot, but has incredible vision in the substitution box, or the substitution game, rather. Here's Chase Frazier curled around the cage and blew it past John Galloway. The Canadian Chase Frazier cashing in on an opportunity that Andy Towers gave him. Look, he's in the 19 to prove that he can be a contributor to this playoff push. Not just in the 19, but he moves him from midfield down to attack. So, so far he had two games played, three points. So as they were getting solid production, Coach Towers was like, I, I just got to see what I got here. Now, Frazier gave the head coach a great look there. Has to cash in on the other end. Here's Byrne, passes out of the double team. It's a beauty. Hesitation and finally a goal. Chase Frazier nets his second of the afternoon, and it's all chaos out here in Colorado. Now this is just a remarkable escape by Byrne, and then an even better finish by Frazier. I mean, look at the stick control. Hey, Josh. It a great connection and some chemistry between Byrne and Dane Smith. And a great respect for each other as well. Fraser just stuffs it in. Comes just after the halfway point of the first quarter, and it comes from Chase Fraser, his fifth of the season, and it's two to one. Has only been held without a goal one time, and it was the Archers who did it. Their first matchup back week two. There is a goal. As Gittleman couldn't stop that shot. In here by Chaos, offensively ends up with the ball and Smith stick behind the cage on a short stick. They disguise that invert a little bit and as he pushes up, he draws the double team easy feed to Frazier who has a clean step down look. 12 on the shot clock. Slipping through and scoring again is Chase Frazier. He has all three tonight for chaos. Gonna swing it to Westberg. He's going to drive hard upfield. The quick help. Frazier took the step down. This time, the pump, the face dodge, and the release. Low to high. His ability to just yank that up top in such quick manner. A lot of space here, four on four. Byrne has Perkovic to match up against. The pass in tight for Dane Smith and the body control right in front of the crease. The officials say the goal is good. You're gonna see as Josh Byrne attacks the, the middle of the field, frees it right here. There's just so much space because all these players have substituted off the field. So as Byrne Kind of bears down on the cage. Epo hedges a little bit, and Frazier cuts right, right back behind him. What incredible body control and footwork to stay out of the crease. I mean, this is remarkable footwork here by Frazier, tiptoeing around the crease. And he's had some issues with crease violations. So credit him in terms of making an adjustment and staying out of there. From two. Cook. Flips it behind, Cloutier in front for Frazier. Sullivan, he's gonna kind of hedge over here to the ball. So here's the two on one against this lone Redwoods defender. So Frazier cuts behind, you get a little drift, you get a pass in front, and then, oh, you get a pass in front, you didn't run in front, pass in front, and you throw it inside. So gorgeous little three man action, nifty stick work to boot, but that's exactly how Frazier ends up wide open on the crease. 
go of 47 and a tenth left on the clock here in the first quarter. The Tides to score three. And again, that body control from Frazier not to step in that crease. Would give and go for Resch, and Trouter made the save. Rebound to Frazier, and he put it back. What a start to this game for Chase Frazier. Not much more Tim Troutner could do. It's 4-3 chaos. When they get kind of bogged down offensively, you see the ball in one player's stick like a Pinnell, and everybody else is just watching. Good ball movement here, and a slippery little move, and it went! Frazier's got his fourth. That was impressive. Yes, slippery indeed. The advantage was gained out of the substitution box. You can see Eppel have to rotate over. Sullivan's there, and Frazier is just too slick. You know, you thought he might finish this in front of the goal. He goes underneath, little toe drag, and then right here, somehow finds space near side, uses a little twister, pulls his stick across his face on the shot right here to the opposite side and then snaps down to get enough velocity to get it past Troutner, but that, that's about as slick as it gets. Hey, Kyle, Kyle, stay, no, Kyle, right here, right here, Kyle, right here, right here. But he's on the backside dealing with a two-man game action, so he's communicating that. And meanwhile, on the near side, You've got Dane Smith going hard underneath. A little show. And an easy one more to Frazier who just steps up field. There's no second slide. You can see Eppel trying to get back, but whether that was Finn Sullivan or Hartzell, in terms of who was supposed to go next, that's the breakdown. So Eppel helps, Frazier follows, and there's no second slide, and Frazier continues his strong afternoon. Yeah, have a day, Chase Frazier. That's right. his fifth goal of the day. All the way up. Now for Dane Smith, who has five points of his own tonight. Smith inside. Frazier was all alone. Freeze it right here. You're going to see Warren Jeffries just kind of staring upfield, obviously worried about the ball carrier and a potential help situation. And Frazier is just going to cut right behind him. So as Jeffrey stares at the ball, Frazier back towards him. Great look by Smith. You're obviously concerned about him as a Dodger, but what makes Smith so dangerous is his feeding and vision in the starting attack. Archers have gotten to within one three times. And a great spot feed by Frazier. Coming up 1.30 Eastern time here in Philly. Cloutier, Frazier, Colarusso another stop. Frazier another chance, that time it goes! Chase Frazier has made it 14-8 chaos. And Frazier behind the back. Pretty finish. Chaos on a roll. Boys coming in the lineup. Feeds for Byrne. Byrne to the doorstep. And that was too easy for Chase Frazier. The look from Jackson. The goal for Chase Frazier. The lead for Chaos. 3-2 early here in the championship. Byrne steps away, looking for a feed. Found one. They score! It was Chase Frazier just outside the crease. Josh Byrne, perfectly placed pass. And Chaos restores the two-goal lead just past the halfway point of the third quarter of the 2021 PLL Championship game. Chaos by team. Juggled it but kept it in play. Shot clock at five. The pass, and Frazier was all alone. Whip snakes as Cloutier. Picks up this ball, loose ball, frees it right here. You're going to see this Whip Snakes defender is trying to run off the field. He's pointing back. Meanwhile, here's the two on one that gets exploited by Chaos. You've got Muller by himself, charged with covering two Chaos. He goes to the outside, and Frazier is left all by his lonesome right out the door. Trying to get involved in those two man games with Williams and Rambo. Dane Smith, a little shimmy. 
Opens up Frazier. Up to a four-point lead. It is 13-9. Less than seven minutes to play in the title game.